being a doctor in india and overseas what do you want to say regarding healthcare quality cost insurance awareness and behavior and especially during this uh, pandemic i must say it's a uh, world apart Uh, anyway, uh, when my wife and I we both finished our uh, masters together, we were very passionate about teaching. So we right away joined uh, medical college, K S A Gray Medical College in uh, Mangalore, Berlakatte. So uh, we had some fantastic time. Uh, it was like uh, an academic adventure we had when we left uh, Mangalore. Both of us were uh, professors in our respective departments. Uh, in fact after my specialization in pediatric nephrology uh, we i developed the first renal care center for children in mangalore um, and it is a official one where in fact i tied it up uh, with the mou with st johns where we had an exchange program where the staff and students could uh, go to each other's college and uh, uh, get uh, uh, you know uh, trained there and uh, no it was uh, we have done many things there we have organized international conferences i uh, have conducted uh, quiz programs for undergraduates and postgraduates and um, in fact uh, we are both uh, postgraduate uh, guides and examiners as well but uh, when we moved in 2015 to uae uh, it was a totally different realm i mean uh, working in the corporate uh, world is uh, a very thin line uh, where uh, you are uh, practicing maintaining the ethics and uh, saving your job <laughs> because uh, that becomes uh, very important you know uh, here in fact in uh, uh, in uh, this part of the world most of the medical costs are borne by the insurance companies so uh, they dictate actually uh, what can be done or cannot be done the not it's not the patient or the doctor who decides i mean the insurance company allows you or not allow you to uh, take certain tests or uh, take certain medications but in india it's not like that most of the cost is borne by the patient themselves whether it is the medicine cost or if it is the procedure the patients uh, pay from their pockets but uh, at the same time see uh, we have some excellent world class doctors working in um, uh, in our place in fact if you ask me i will happily go back to mangalore to treat myself because i trust the talent in mangalore much more than anywhere else in the world and uh, uh, they are world class the procedure wise skill wise everything is world class there and uh, the cost of the medicine manufactured with the same company would be One tenth in Mangalore versus here, and uh, even the procedures, the cost is very very less in uh, India compared to here. But of course, uh, it's a much uh, smaller population here, and uh, the health department is uh, well off here compared to our country. Uh, of course, it is uh, two different uh, realms, but uh, it's a fact. and uh, especially during the pandemic uh, it became uh, more obvious you know when uh, uh, certain things uh, here i mean our country has in uae has done a commendable job uh, the testing has been so widely done and they have taken good care of people affected because they could afford it and they had the place for that and they had the uh, infrastructure for that whereas uh, if you see in india we took a very different approach we uh, uh, brought lockdown if you see the number of deaths per million it is way way low compared to rest of the world yeah. so uh, i think indians did a fantastic job i think uh, it is not just the policies but the community also has to take responsibility in this pandemic where they have to maintain social distancing wear mask uh, uh, cover their uh, uh, um, nose and mouth when they are wearing the mask and hand hygiene and make sure it is uh, uh, not just the blame game of the government's uh, responsibility yeah. alone yeah. we also have to follow the rules only then i think uh, we can get a better control over uh, this pandemic but why do you want to be an entrepreneur in a different field and uh, what is your vision and progress of your companies uh, i mean company sri antram developers limited and its offshoots vibhuti estate uh 
my father passed away a couple of years ago and uh, he left a huge vacuum in our family emotionally and otherwise and uh, that's when my brother in law stepped in uh, i lost a father but i got a brother so he has completely changed the way i have i'm thinking about life as such in the big picture and uh, he's been my inspiration my mentor and at every step he has been guiding me uh, regarding the plants and things like that and uh, he was the idea behind uh, setting up this uh, company uh, which i started with my wife and uh, my mother is also the director it's uh, shri antram developers and the idea was um, see i want to uh, my father was always talking about um, developing the local community and uh, shri antram has a idea of stopping the drain uh, uh, brain drain from our area <laughs> we are saying why are why should youth with talent we have so much talent in our own community why should they go to a city like bangalore or mysore when we if we can provide them a platform so we are providing them a uh, a platform for uh, startup or uh, any kind of businesses so shri antram has already started a, a construction of a commercial space i'm talking about uh, 60000 square feet of uh, area where they can start any kind of business uh, whether uh, uh, and we can help them out because uh, we also have a cooperative bank we have started and uh, in case they have financial issues uh, we can even provide them loan and support them so uh, this uh, this idea of uh, retaining the uh, local talent was a you know real idea behind uh, shri antram and uh, we really wish uh, uh, more people make use of this uh, platform focusing on uh, shri antram developers limited how you are planning to create local jobs and prevent local brain drain to other cities uh see uh, we are starting with the business idea where um, we might uh, rent out the business because uh, it's a very large uh, commercial space and very in proximity to the railway station the bc office and uh, connected with the uh, two major highways on both sides of the property so uh you can think of any kind of industry thriving there whether it is hospitality industry hotels uh, uh, or uh, uh, any kind of uh, businesses a person is talented in can definitely uh, start a, a business there and we are also uh, thinking of uh, mou um, uh, business model where a person can uh, have a sharing uh, with the uh, with us and uh, we can help them out in starting up if they are having the initial uh, capital investment uh, issues and uh, i believe that uh, if the local talent wants to do something like i say like uh, we have already discussed uh, hard work patience and honesty i think uh, th- these are the three important things uh, to do well um and anybody who is uh, patient enough will definitely uh, will make a mark in the market and uh, he doesn't have to move far away from his family and he can he can do the same quality job instead of being an employee in an nmc uh, he can uh, might as well start his own startup and provide more jobs for under him i i believe that you know if you start 10 new uh, uh businesses or startups he will provide uh, 10 extra jobs further down the uh, you know uh, under him isn't it so right, right. it's going to be a cascade effect so right. i believe uh, this will help my local community and this is just an idea i mean um, right. it will work out or not it's, it's, i mean it's a very uh, we'll good thought uh, to end the show what is your call to the viewers to support news karnataka and why uh what i observed uh, and liked about uh, your channel was uh, your resolve and to encourage positive news see your uh, sharing stories of successes i think uh, world is tired of negative news yelling and abuse and uh, hearing trans achievements positive uh, ideas i think that is a way to go and you people are doing an excellent job and bringing Uh, young talent young minds into the folds of uh, uh, media an excellent initiative 
and of course uh, uh, mr rajesh has already made a good name with uh, helping mangalians get back to their country in the covid scenario and he is a well known name now and uh, i hope and pray that you know he gets the strength and uh, god bless him for this initiative and i hope the your uh, news channel uh, does this positive uh, group and encourage more and more people to do the same uh, uh, with this uh, i really thank all of you for uh, giving me this opportunity to share my thoughts and i hope the message goes to the crowd you know uh, that uh, okay. positive can be good